right, guys. You see the Saab 9.3. Hey, this is Maury. All right, you see the Saab 9.3. I got it uh, almost completely taped and draped. And we're going to be shooting the top. This is a canvas top, convertible top. And as you can see over here, it's got some staining and, and uh, fading, things of that nature. Um, all around the top. You can't, sometimes you can't see it right there. I know the light is bad in here. Let me get this. So, I've got the back window taped off. Of course, you can see the back body. And here's where the staining is. So, what I was going to do is I was going to get some stain and just uh, stain the top again. But I got on the internet and... Oop, back up there. I got on the internet and... The guys were saying on various videos for these, not these particular cars, just convertibles, that, hey, why don't you just um, paint the top with a rubberized paint? So what I did is I looked around. You can get uh, Plasti Dip at Lowe's or Home Depot. You can get that other stuff on TV where the guy cuts a boat in half and then seals it back up and it, it runs around a lagoon. But uh, I ran into one blog who says, hey, get this uh, SEM vinyl coat because it's uh, specifically made for boats in the marine environment. And it's very, very UV resistant and it's very flexible. And the guy in this one blog said, if you're going to do that, get the best, get the best stuff. Don't screw around. And so I ordered a couple cans couple cans of this stuff and he's right it's it was about uh, 17 18 bucks a can but we're gonna see if it's worth it uh, hopefully I got enough to do the whole top I'm still doing some more taping and draping but I'll let you know how it goes okay I just got done with the first can of the SEM vinyl coat called uh, Flexible Coating. It's M25053 Ranger Black. And uh, first coat is on. And it took the whole can for the top. As you can see, so far, I'm pretty impressed. Granted, this is here in the garage, but now I'm going to wait a few minutes. <clears throat> I think the can says 10 minutes between coats, and that's fine. I'll wait 10 minutes. I'll come back. I'll do the second can. Good thing I got two cans. So that was just a lucky guess on my part. So be back later. Okay, here we are once again, and... I've done the second coat of the SEM vinyl coat, the Ranger Black, and so far it looks like a pretty good job. It covered the top pretty well. You can see right in this area was all the staining, and that's nice and black now. So it's got a, a vinyl coat on it. And we're going to let it dry. Let me turn around here. Get out from the glare of the light. It says on the website to let it dry for uh, 24 hours. That's the cure time. And I got two cans of it that I've, uh, I've put on the top. As you can see right there, two dead cans. So... I'm going to let it dry or cure for 24 hours and then we'll take it out and see how it goes. It dries to the touch pretty quick. So, all right, I'll let you know how it goes. I'll fold the top up a few times and see about that uh, after 24 and, and I'll get back with you guys. Bye. Okay, final product out in the sun. 
I think it turned out very, very nice. Back windows all good. There is a few spots where there was some, some wear through, and so I've got a little bit of sealant on those and then overcoated with the with the SEM vinyl coat. Of course, you know, any roof you're gonna have that, so you do what you can. It's not a perfect fix, it doesn't give you a new roof, but boy, for 34 bucks, you can't hardly beat it. The color's all back into it. it feels dry to the touch. This is only after, say, a half hour or so. I'm calling this a good one. All right, talk to you later, folks.